pick. In, this, in the second half, you got it going. You're a lot more aggressive. What was the difference from, from half to half for you? So initially, I tried to make a right play and create for others in the first half. And in the second half, I just told myself that I got to join my team and like be active and uh, trying to be aggressive on my own too, not just creating for others and like share the ball maker. Uh, right play because uh, I passed out some opportunities for for my post catches for uh, my scoring opportunities in the first half and I just talked to myself and said I got to join my team. What does Houston do that makes it so tough defensively? I'll give them credit because they're a good defensive team. They're big, but I mean they're just active and big. There is nothing like un like that you can't score. It's just really good, really, really good defensive team with the size and the principles that they execute. I mean, just that simple. It's not something un un unbeatable. You just gotta be prepared for that and uh, answer the bell on the top of play. How do they compare with Ohio State, Arizona, Xavier, some of the other better teams you've played? Uh, I think they're pretty similar to Ohio State. I wouldn't compare them with Arizona, but I say really, really similar game. Uh, play physical, offensive board, hustle plays. That's what they do, both teams. So, and that's what we gotta get better at. Me personally, I gotta get better on offensive board and uh, defensive as well. Kind of similar to the start of conference play last year. How do you break this cycle of going back and forth between wins and losses? Right now, we had a long conversation in the locker room about it. And uh, at the end of the day, we just got to be together consistently. When things don't go well, we just got to stay together. We don't need to point fingers and stuff like that. We just got to stay together. In the moments when we down, we just get it right back up, like we did versus Xavier. And it didn't happen today. So we got to be consistent because uh, it's going to happen more and more than we will be down by 10. We just can't uh, make it down by 20. Did it feel like there was a lot more loose balls, jump balls, just an increased amount of physicality in this game throughout the 40 minutes? For sure. We knew it coming to the game. Uh, there's going to be a lot of tee balls, especially on the rebound. So you have to you don't ha you have to not only box out, but pursue the ball. So after you box out, there's going to be three, four people in uh, your team and their team. you got to be just first to the ball and go get it. So yeah, we knew it coming to the game. and. It wasn't a surprise for us, but as I said, we got to do better at physical hustle plays. Just, just drop your thing down. Cherise Walker, a guy who's six foot eight, two forty, and known to be physical in the paint. What did he do that made it so tough to guard tonight defensively? Mm -hmm. As I would say. As you mentioned, he's six what, six seven? Six, oh, I mean, uh, six eight, whatever. That's his advantage as well. So he's maybe not as big, but he's like mobile and he can move. So uh, he would hard hedge Dave to create a little confusion in, uh, for us in the offense. And uh, I got it better with meeting a uh, pass in the pocket. So I, I made uh, Dave life a little harder for that. But yeah, he. Uh, being him being not that tall, it's also an advantage in some possessions. So, yeah. Mike is playing really well for you guys. How have you seen his game improve over the course of the season, especially recently with Rob out? Yeah, I'll give him credit as well. He's a good player and he accepts his role. So sometimes when he sees a team needs his help and it's, uh, for example, JD's ball doesn't go in, Chess's ball doesn't go in, he just picks it up and uh, takes responsibility to take that. Uh, that opportunity and use it. So yeah, he's a really good player, and he he is good at accepting his role. And sometimes when things go well, he he will accept to score two points and give eight assists. When things uh, doesn't go well for our team, he will step up and will start scoring the ball on, on his own. It, it wasn't Obi's best night, but do you think that this latest lineup having you and Odi in there to, to start is the best thing? Yeah, I think coaches try to what, what they just try to do. Uh, it's uh, as I said, don't let us, don't let him like just get on us and as a bigs because uh, I thought they were gonna go to JD and like get him uh, 
quick points or not points, uh, quick points, post catches and stuff like that. So I think what coaches try to do is just uh, throw their two big so we'll answer the bell in the uh, in a one on one D in the post and uh, defensive board. Two more questions. Knowing what you mean to this team, especially in the post, do you feel opposing teams maybe trying to go at you to get you in foul trouble early in games? Oh, for sure. And I got to do a way better job than that, especially maybe not today, but in a couple of previous games, I've been bad at it. And this team needs me in the court, and I got to do better, and not fouling, being disciplined, especially some stupid fouls I've committed. It just disappointed me. I just got to be disciplined. Yeah. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. Thanks.